West Collierville Middle School is taking this time to honor all veterans of the United States Armed Forces. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the National Anthem sang by our very own West Collierville Middle School Choir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please enjoy the song Honor and Glory, recorded by WCMS 8th Grade Orchestra. What is a veteran anyway? What branch did you serve in? I was in the U.S. Navy. 
A veteran really refers to anyone who has served um, active duty in any of our armed forces in the United States. That's Air Force, Marines, Army, Navy, Coast Guard. What does Veterans Day mean? A veterans Day, I think it's uh, right. only proper and fitting that this country have a day where we encourage the people in America to stop and take a minute to think about uh, the sacrifices made by veterans, both past and present. And sometimes the greatest of sacrifices that were made by veterans from the, the past and, and present. Uh, and just be thankful for all the rights and freedoms that we get to enjoy today because of the service and the sacrifices they've given. So I'm, I'm grateful to other veterans and I'm thankful for Veterans Day. Thank you to the WCMS band for recording their performance of the Marches of the Armed Forces. As each branch's song is played and their flag is displayed, stand if you have a member of your family that served in that branch. this time, former Army Specialist John Snyders, grandfather of Wesley Solomon, will explain the res responsibilities of the U.S. Army. After his video, please join us in honoring Army veterans from the WCMS family that have graciously shared photos with us. John Snyders. Uh, and what relationship are you uh, to me? I am your grandfather. And uh, you served in what rank? I served the United States Army. Uh, and my rank was specialist, fourth class. And uh, what did your rank do? Uh, we were land-based operations. I worked as administrative assistant to uh, chief of surgery in, in the general, 97th General Hospital in Frankfurt, Germany.
retired Navy Chief Manuel Gaia Gios, Marina's father, and former second class petty officer Micah Avery, Kaysen's father, are going to take this time to explain more about the United States Navy. Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Manny. I'm Marina Gaia Gios' father. I was in the United States Navy for 21 years, recently retired. I was a Navy Chief. That was my rank. The mission of the Navy is to provide aerial support for the ground troops, provide amphibious support. Um, also during peacetime is to maintain the sea lanes open for trade, things like that. Um, my job in the Navy, I was in the aviation fields community, and I was also a recruiter in the Navy. Have a good day. Go. Hello, my name is Micah Avery. I'm Kaysen Avery's dad. I was in the United States Navy. I was a second class petty officer, and um, I worked on uh, in the aviation uh, Department of the Navy um, and worked on my responsibilities were uh, an ordnance man or weapons technician. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Steve Milligan, father of Allison and husband of Mrs. Milligan from sixth grade, as well as Davion, who is the network administrator for Carterville Schools, are going to take a moment and explain more information about the Air Force. Hi, my name is Allison Milligan, and I'm honored to interview my father to celebrate our United States veterans. Please state your name and rank. My name is Steve Milligan. I'm a retired Lieutenant Colonel in the U.S. Air Force. Could you briefly tell us what the Air Force is responsible for? The mission of the Air Force is to fly, fight, and win through air power anywhere, anytime. And what role did you play in the Air Force? Most of my time in the Air Force was spent as a pilot. I flew a transport jet all around the world delivering military supplies and humanitarian relief. We also provided air medical evacuation for wounded sailors, soldiers, and Marines. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Hey there, I'm Davion, and I'm the network administrator for the technology department, also a U.S. Air Force veteran. On September 18th, 1947, the youngest branch of the military, the Air Force, was created. Here are a few fun facts that makes the Air Force special and unique. Did you know that the Air Force built a supercomputer made out of Sony PlayStations? The Air Force Research Lab built a supercomputer called the Condor Cluster. 
This supercomputer is made up of 1,760 PlayStation 3s. It's the 33rd most powerful computer in the world. Now, there are a lot of unique things about the Air Force and lots to learn. So I hope I left a thought that you may find interesting to know. Aim high. So what is the responsibility of the United States Marines? Marines protect naval bases, guard the U.S. embassies, and provide a strike force to protect the United States and their interests anywhere in the world. United States Coast Guard's responsibilities are maritime safety or safety related to the sea, maritime environmental protection, and national defense. Veterans Day is a time to honor living veterans. However, it is appropriate to show respect to those who have given their lives for this country. We will do this now by playing taps or the final roll call and have a moment of silence directly after. This concludes the Veterans Day program. Happy Veterans Day to all that have served from West Collierville Middle School. <laughs>